Hi everyone, Great Power 60 here. This is my three week collab with some lovely ladies. This is week two, Baked Goods. And I will show you how I made these. Just stay tuned. So let's get started. This is my um, entry into week two. Uh, what I'm doing if you can see, I hope that'll focus. It doesn't seem to want to focus properly. It's a Jello cheesecake mix, and this is pretty much no bake, which I like. Anything that's easy. And what I need is one cup of my um, Jello cheesecake mix. One cup. It's really, really easy to do, and one and a quarter cups of milk and I am going to be putting the cheesecake into these already made little um, graham pie crusts these are the mini pie crusts I love graham cracker graham crust already so I will be back in one moment okay so the next step I have just uh, put a little bit of egg white on these and put them in the oven they're now cooled off it's just to give them a little bit of a, a crisp um, edge to it and now all I'm going to do is fill up each cup with the cheesecake pudding and then we're just going to pop it in the fridge. Oh, I'm not good with ugh, doing this here. So I'm going to just fill these up, pop them in the fridge, and I will be back in one minute. Okay, so now I've put these in the fridge. I have two more in the fridge, but I just don't have room on my counter, sorry, to show you. So the next thing to do, if you'd like, you could decorate it with candy. I have these little mini chocolate hearts. And I've got some sprinkles. So I think what I'm going to do is do a couple of each. Sorry about the camera. I really need to get myself a camera that I can do all of this stuff with. So let's start off with the little hearts. And what we can do is decorate them just by putting them in and putting them around. These are Sto Russell Stouffer's itty bitty, I hope you could see that, itty bitty hearts. I just think these are so adorable. You can even make a little face with these. Isn't that cute? This would be great for my grandsons. Oops. Let's not put that one on there. I guess I'll have to eat that one. Oh my goodness. So I'm sorry about my hand being in the way. But. So we can decorate it with the little chocolate hearts or we can use some sprinkles these I got at Michael's quite a while ago because I've been doing all kinds of decorating and fun stuff and you could decorate them like this kind of like that one too or you could do a combination and just put a little heart in the middle and then decorate around the outside of it You can see I don't do much baking around here because there's just me. Um, the only baking that I do is for like my grandsons. And that's not very often. Used to. Used to do a lot of baking. I really like the sprinkles. These sprinkles are a little bit thicker so it's harder to get them out. And so that is a cute little dessert. They're really delicious. Um, I absolutely love them. I hope you enjoyed my little 
DIY. Thank you to the ladies. Three youths transplanted. Two youths transplanted. Oh my gosh. Two youths transplanted for inviting me to join the collab. And this is a three week collab. I'm going to put all of the ladies' um, links below so that you can see what they've come up with. These little cheesecake pudding tarts are really, really delicious. I had made them before and uh, my son and his family absolutely loved them. Now I'm going to try them out with my daughter and my other grandsons and see. I hope you enjoyed this little, little bake no bake uh, collab that I've done and um, I'm hoping that you will check out the other ladies um, their videos they come up with some wonderful things they are so talented I'm hoping someday to be able to get my another camera so I can ca do this a little bit better total amateur ladies total ladies and guys those who are watching thanks for joining me and we'll talk to you soon bye for now